The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Nelson Mandela Everyone knows that Minecraft is a linear game with only three true goals. Getting fully upgraded and maxed gear as soon as possible, beating the game's one and only boss, the Ender Dragon, and of course a tiny amount of exploration with the few small structures that exist in the game. Minecraft at its core is a simple game about you, the player, going on a journey to the nether and then the end to conquer the Ender Dragon and win the game. Simple as that. A single player adventure that starts and ends with just you. Of course, over time, Mojang have added a few small updates to the game, especially recently. However, every update is absolutely garbage. From a super simple, tiny new structure. Okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. He slimes oh my are god. gonna kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, real. Same. Oh my god. Oh my god, the slimes, bro. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot to equip my shield. I don't have my shield up. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No! That gives nothing but a new useless weapon that deals practically no damage to an underground ruin that is absolutely impossible to complete, even with max gear. I mean, it's so, so difficult. It's so, so difficult. And for it being the hardest challenge in the game, it giving absolute trash as a reward for your struggles is insane. In short, these are all meaningless, basically substanceless updates that give nothing new to the player. And as the players who pay one time and then forever get updates, which is something most games don't even do, I mean, we deserve so much more than what we're getting. Not to mention the, frankly, lackluster gameplay. I mean, it's entirely about combat, and yet you barely get any variety in terms of weaponry. You have a small selection of swords, a shield, and literally nothing else. I mean, of course, there's the new weapon, but that's barely a weapon. It does no damage. And due to it being entirely focused on combat and fighting, there being literally no variety in this part of the game is absurd. I mean, they add copper and don't give us copper tools and weapons? It's insane. With the game being entirely focused on fighting and the one boss fight, it makes sense that you'd lose the wonder and joy you had as a kid for this simple, linear, storylined game. Really, it's a husk of what it used to be. Your self-worth is determined by you. You don't have to depend on someone telling you who you are. Beyonce. This game gives us, the players, no choices, no connections to make to the game, no creative input. I mean, it's us who continue to fund with the one singular payment we make upon purchasing the game. Players are also the ones most responsible for the game's advertisement. I mean, with all the streams, no videos, different forms of art and media, the entire community projects that are made for this game. This game would be completely dead without our collective input. So for them to give us no way to do anything creative in it is absurd. We have zero input into what updates come, what features get added, and overall we have no say in what changes are made. On top of that, it's insane how the only thing to do in this game is single player. The only goals being to kill the Ender Dragon and I guess get maxed out gear. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing else to do. No modding capabilities like some games have. No abilities to play some mini games or just hang out with friends. I mean, seriously, I know it's just a linear game, but I just feel like it could be so much more. And that is where my solution comes in. Life is like a new crispy pretzel chicken fries at Burger King. You never know what you're gonna get. Burger King. <laughs> so, I have an amazing solution of how you 
can have fun in Minecraft again. Allow me to explain. Over the past 42,069 days, I've been paying someone $100 per hour to code an incredible new mod for me. Now, you may need an explanation of how mods work in Minecraft, as this too is completely new and never before seen. I single-handedly came up with the idea and how to execute said idea. In short, modding is just adding something into the base game that can completely change it, especially with my mod. And now you can get this mod for yourself for only five million dollars. This mod adds some brand new features that everyone has been asking for. First of all, you can now play multiplayer. I know, it's insane. Previously, the only thing that you could do in this game was single player survival. But now, not only is creative a thing, but you can play in multiplayer as well. So finally, you have a way to play with your friends. Not that anyone that makes the Minecraft is boring videos has friends because they all seem to forget multiplayer exists at all. But you know. on top of that, it adds two brand new, insane, game-breaking changes. First of all, building. I know, that's right. With this mod, you can finally build and redstone. I know, right? It's insanely new. Redstone, I added some command blocks. I think the community will be so overjoyed for these new features that you can finally access with just one simple mod. Because before, it was entirely about combat and speedrunning and literally nothing else. But finally, with the additions of building and redstone, there's other things you can do in the game. This mod adds a ton of new weapons, features, improvements, new structures, and even the biggest thing of all that solves literally every problem problem. Frogs. Look at them. Worth it. Oh, also it adds this entirely new boss, whatever I call it, the wither, but... The frogs are the main thing! And finally, I've also given you the ability to create and download mods. I know, right? It's insane. If you're getting tired of the game, you can get a mod or make one yourself that adds the things that you would want. It's insane, I know, revolutionary. Being able to have mods and play these mods with your friends and you can get them all with this new app I've paid someone $3 billion to create called Uncursed Furnace. I know, it's insane. Now finally, if there's a feature you want, you can make it yourself or get someone else to make it or just Find one that already exists that adds it. I know, it's gonna change everything. The whole landscape of this linear game is gonna shift all because of this mod. And again, it's only five million dollars. <laughs> Plus tax. And with my mod, you can finally have fun in Minecraft again. But that's just a theory. A Minecraft theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> No, but seriously, it's insane how almost every Minecraft is boring video forgets to mention multiplayer or mods or like core mechanics like building and redstone and commands. They also always seem to forget like entire sections of the community and always want to implement things that would just absolutely mess up in multiplayer. Like what the fuck is the point of vertical progression? If you want that, get a mod. I'd rather not join into my friend's new world, see him speed run to getting netherite, and then have to fight a biblically accurate angel while I'm making my fucking dirt hut, you insane-